What's up guys, it's Dune's back for the attack, but you already know that, and today we're going to be talking about Ryu's potential in Smash 4. Ryu, also known as the World Warrior, and also the Mario of fighting games. When Ryu was first announced for Smash 4, it took the community by storm, and the fact that they even added controls of light and heavy inputs to make him somewhat akin how he is in tr traditional fighters, since you know the GameCube doesn't have enough buttons to fully replicate it, you know it's very much appreciated. Normally in fighting games, Ryu is known as an all-arounder and you is normally placed at mid or upper mid tier on the tier list. However, this is different in Smash 4 where most people place him high tier, but he doesn't have the best results. Why? I feel as though Ryu is underexplored, just like some of these characters. but. Today's video, there's just a few things I want to touch about about Ryu's potential from his neutral, his matchup spread, and his Shoryuken, which for the rest of the video I might call SRK. Okay, good? Alright, let's begin. Now, Ryu's neutral is very aggressive and for the most part pretty safe. He could go around narrowing across the whole stage if he really wanted to, but <laughs> let's be real. Ryu is basically a walking truck. His presence instills fear and demands respect. And that's because he can convert off of the smallest hit into the biggest moves or even finish you since he is no stranger to damage. Think of Bowser except he doesn't need to grab you and he has better frame data. Ryu also has great weight to him so he'll be living longer and you know not dying early from anything weird. Also his recovery travels deceptively far. But unlike in Street Fighter Fireball camping isn't as viable in Smash, since a lot of characters have some good options against it. But that's okay, cause all Ryu needs is one hit. Ryu's combo game and convergent game is almost unrivaled in Smash, and all he needs is a straight hit to get a good combo or some damage. However, if his hits are calculated, he becomes a very scary opponent. With all the pressure he can apply, you know, shielded might be a bad option against Ryu sometimes. Like, did you know that correctly spaced, Ryu's back air is unpunishable on shields, and it could cross up taller characters. It also does a crazy amount of shield damage, which can result in a... Yeah. It really kind of changed up your options in neutral. And not being able to shield is very frustrating where you actually might be flustered and start rolling. But if he plans on a roll, things can also get bad as well. This kind of brings me to his aerials. Since a wise man once said, priority doesn't exist. However, this notion goes under some questioning when concerning reuse aerials. Long story short, don't challenge reuse aerials because 8 out of 10 times he will win and 1 out of 10 times you'll trade. Last but not least, there is Focus Attack. Taken from Street Fighter 4, Focus Attack can super armor through any single hit at level 2. No matter how big or how small. Except for Roy's neutral B fully charged, but you'll be able to survive it even though it's an insta kill. Since you can cancel focus attack, most Ryu's will be using this in neutrals for mind game, for some controls, for spacing, and you know if you hit them that might you know not be the best option. Next let's talk about Ryu's matchups. For the sake of this video I'm going to be using the matchup chart made by Dark Shad, a notable Ryu player. So let's look at Ryu's negative matchups. Most of all these matchups are actually doable. One thing these characters does is really negate and reuse focus attack in neutral, which doesn't really nerf his neutral, but kinda normalizes it. First of all, if you don't have an answer for Cloud, Diddy, and Sonic in today's meta, you're not gonna be getting very far anyways. But for the most part, in Ryu's case, all you have to do to beat them is have decent item play, use less focus attack, and lab out your punish and conversion game. Since none of these characters have anything overly safe in neutral, as Ryu, all you have to do is wait for a mistake and punish hard. The only two characters that this matchup is truly polarizing for Ryu is Rosalina and Mega Man. Rosalina because of her ability to edgeguard Ryu and also, you know, Luma. 
and Mega Man because of his whole kit really immobilizes Ryu in the neutral off stage. Like Ryu cannot move against Mega Man while played right. While the Rosalina matchup is doable as soon as Luma is gone, Mega Man matchup is consistently bad because the window to punish is incredibly small and risky since every time Ryu does something to try to get in on Mega Man, it's an overextension. With only two really bad matchups of unpopular played characters at the highest level, you would really expect to see more Ryu's placing higher and such. Especially with his trump card, Shoryuken. Shoryuken, and I'm talking about true Shoryuken by the way, is basically like Jigglypuff's rest, but better. Though SRK does less damage and kills later than rest, it can be used in more practical setups than rest can. SRK can be comboed into by stray hits like down tilt, up tilt, and even jab, and it can kill characters at unforgivable percents with rage. And also, it comes out at frame one, so you can combo break with it and kill. Like, did you know that you are unable to shield grab punish, which is the main go to option? A reuse falling nair on shield if he inputs it fast enough? But just like rest, SRK is a highly committal move and very punishable if whiffed or shielded. Not as much as rest, but you know, you shouldn't be thrown out randomly at high percent. In conclusion, Ryu is a great hard hitting character that has the capability to beat every single character in this game. So why is he so underrepresented? Unlike all the other characters in Smash Bros history that had the potential to beat everyone in the roster? Maybe because he's too difficult to play. Like think about it. Technical characters that usually have a higher floor of entry than other characters are usually played way less and understand way less. Without going in too deep in that area, we can say in the top 16 at a major, it's more likely to see one Rosalina player and five Cloud players than the other way around. Even though in most tier lists, people would place Rosalina higher than Cloud. Which might bring up the case, what's the point of having so many options and good moves if no one can perform them? Which begs the question, is Ryu's options and moves not viable in today's meta? Or are people just too lazy to put the work in to learn the character? On that note, I'm going to be ending this video. Big shout outs to Neos and Clef for helping me out with making this video. And also bigger shout outs to the players who's been out there making big waves recently with Ryu. Like big players like Venom, Darkshad, Trailer, and Locust. I felt like this video was a little bit all over the place, but you know, if you learned something new and appreciate Ryu a little bit more, then I guess I did my part. So I'll see you guys later.